guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a foundation first impression on the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. And this has been around for a long time, but I've always wanted to try it. And Shoppers Drug Mart had 20 times the points event today, so I went in and got a couple of the foundations to test out for you guys. I was just going to throw it on my skin today because I wanted to do more of a natural look today. Uh, but I figured I'd just go ahead and film a first impression because I may as well because I've never used it. I know this is kind of hard to get in the U.S. I believe so I'll put some sites down below where you can actually purchase it because you can't get it in store but in Canada you can pick this up at Shoppers Drug Mart and it's readily available in the U.K. and places like that. So the foundation comes with a pump which is awesome and this is supposed to be a light coverage and it's a semi-matte finish. I typically don't wear too many light coverage foundations. My favorite probably was the Chanel Aqua Lumiere foundation, I think it was called. I haven't repurchased it in a while, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be similar to a Chanel foundation. This claims to be a 16 hour wear foundation, which is awesome, and it's a gel foundation. Let's go ahead and just pump it out of my hand and show you the two colors. This one is number 53. It's definitely light. That's about, I'd say, an NC25. You could probably get away with an NC30, but I'd go more so NC25. And then this one is shade 55. There's not too many shades to select from. This is the shade up, and it's definitely much darker. Uh, so that's the one I'm going to use today. And I really like the undertone of this foundation because it has a fairly neutral undertone, slightly pink, so it leans more pink than yellow if that's what you're going for. I've been liking more neutral to pink undertone foundations when I have a self tan on just because the Loving Tan, I find it pulls more warm than it does a golden olive type thing where I'd use a yellow like my Saint Tropez. So I've needed a couple more neutral to pink. So this should be really good for me. This side of my face, I'm going to use a primer. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer. It's just been my favorite primer lately. If you guys watch my channel. And I need to buy a full size. This is a sample. And I'm pretty sure I'm almost done. In terms of wear, we really probably don't even need a primer, but just for uh, to see how this foundation goes on the skin. I forgot to put my hair back, so we will do that right now. <laughs> so I'm trying to film early so I can wear this foundation as long as possible so the sun's shining in my window. So I do apologize for my lighting situation going on, but we're going to just pump some of the 55 on my hand and then I'm gonna use a MAC 70 brush to apply to my skin. This smells exactly like Chanel products. So you know how if you've ever used a Chanel foundation or the Bronze Universelle, uh, it has that fragrance to it. it. Smells exactly like that. I wouldn't be surprised if they're made by the same people, but this is cheaper. <laughs> so that's one light layer. I like how it looks. Now we're just gonna go on the prime side. I love the smell. Oh, I can't get over it. That's what the foundation looks like on the skin right now. It's very light coverage. I'm going to try and build it up and see if it's buildable at all. But I don't expect too much in terms of coverage out of this foundation, as I said, because it's geared as a light coverage foundation. I'd say you could get a medium coverage out of this. It's definitely not full coverage for me, but it's not supposed to be. That's the foundation on my skin. As you can tell, it does bring a luminosity to my skin and it looks really natural. I'm gonna see how it dries down and I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and then I'll come back and just speak a little bit more about the foundation. I am back, I just completed this makeup look. Took no time at all, it was super easy, super quick but I wanted to do something natural to go along with this foundation. Currently, I'm really liking how it looks. My skin looks really natural and has a natural glow to it. And honestly, I typically don't like gel foundations, but this actually looks really, really good on my skin. So, so far, I'm really impressed. And it's a lighter coverage foundation, so that's saying a lot because I typically don't steer towards lighter coverage foundations, just me personally. 
but it says instant blending gel, flawless complexion, undetectable coverage, vitamin rich fruits, lychee, goji berries, pomegranate, and it's hypoallergenic. It's very light on the skin. You can barely tell there's anything on your skin. And I love the way it smells. It smells like Chanel foundations to me. So uh, the shade I have is dark beige 55 in case I didn't say that, but it was $29 at shoppers and we're just going to go ahead and test out how this wears throughout the day. So I'm going to periodically check in like usual and just see how it's performing and I'm going to wear it as long as I can. It was 10 o'clock when I started this. I'm going to see how long I can wear it. I, I'm not going to wear it 16 hours because that's going to take me to the middle of the night. So <laughs> I'll wear it as long as I can and I will see you guys periodically throughout the day in my check-ins to show you how it's wearing. I've had the foundation on for 11 hours now so I'm just doing my last check-in and to tell you how it has worn throughout the day which it has worn amazing I believe it would last 16 hours it's only been on 11 but it really hasn't changed too much I have had some fading around my chin just because I've touched that area and my kids have brushed up against my face and stuff like that so that's kind of worn off a bit just due to contact uh, but the rest of my face has held up perfectly fine and there's zero difference between the primed and unprimed side I noticed throughout the day. Zero difference at all. So you definitely don't need a primer. It's not going to help the wear of it. And even the look of it, I used the pore minimizing primer. I don't feel like it changed the look of my foundation either. So it does look really smooth on both sides. I also want to insert a picture that I took with flash. I took it right after I kind of signed out the first time. I forgot to do a flash test or tell you I was going to. So I did that right after. I didn't notice any flashback with the foundation, so that's good. And also this foundation, after four weeks, 69% saw more radiance in their skin. So this is one of those foundations that's going to improve your skin so they say so I obviously have to wear it for a longer period of time to test that claim but first impression has been really really good thumbs up from me it's a really great light coverage definitely can be built up to a medium coverage and it looks really natural the thing I love most about it it feels really comfortable on the skin like there doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything on my skin right now it just feels like my skin but a better version of my skin because I do have dry skin and this hydrated my skin a little bit I've also noticed that there has been a little bit of shine happening on my face nothing too bad for me because as I said I do have dry skin but say you're oily you'd probably want to blot and touch up but for me personally it doesn't look bad at all definitely gets a thumbs up in my books so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more foundation first impressions leave foundations I should check out in the comment section below that you would like to see me do a review on and I'll be sure to get to those and I'll see you guys in my next video just wanted to mention that my skin actually feels nicer than normal after I wash my face so I just wanted to mention that I felt like it looked nicer and it just feels nicer after wearing that all day so that is all